Yeah, so I met I met this lady in uh, on the border of Syria, um, border of Syria and Lebanon. She was she was in a Palestinian refugee camp, and she had been ushered out of her her land many many years ago. She was describing to us how she had lost her husband and her son and many of her grandchildren. And she was in this tent alone, and she was speaking to us. And <clears throat> as I got up to leave, I had been crying listening to her speak for like half an hour. And as I got up to leave, I said to the brother who was translating for me, I said, "Please, can you tell her that?" We're of course going to pray for her, I'm going to go back home, I'm going to tell all my family to pray for her. And she just looked at, she looked at me and she said it in Arabic. I didn't understand what she said and asked the brother to translate it. And he said, she's looking at you and she's telling you that she doesn't need your prayers and that she will pray for you and that she will pray for you and your family because wow. we're going to need it. And that she knows where she's going. She's going to heaven. She knows she's going. This is the amount of these people, bro. Yeah. Like, they don't want anything from us. They actually don't. They literally don't want nothing from us, which is crazy. But... If we, if, if we could have that level of a man, we would actually realize that we need them so much more than they need us. They can take us to Jannah. You think, what can we do for them, bro? Like, mm. we can't do nothing for them. What, give a little bit of money, give a little bit of food, just, you know what I mean? We're just prolonging their suffering, if anything. Where they're heading is a place that we're all trying to get to, and they got the fast track, you know what I mean? So, it's a deep subhanAllah, out, when, when you think about it like that, yeah, it's mad, Yeah, for real, bro. you know, when you said it, I was like, wow, like, I've never thought about it like that. But yeah, when, me too, when, until she said it, the perspective, that yeah. hit me, bro, wallahi, that hit me. And I went home and I really, and I acted upon it, I was like, bro, I need to, I need to start thinking about myself, bro. Mm. Like, like she said, she's good, she's good.